He is known for establishing the school of phenomenology and developing the concept of intentionality in his critiques of historicism and psychologism in logic. He is recognized for redefining phenomenology as a transcendental idealist philosophy and seeking to develop a systematic foundational science through the phenomenological reduction. His name is Edmund Gustav Albrecht Husserl. Deep in the heartland of Austria, a young Edmund Husserl was born into a world filled with possibilities. Raised in a family that valued knowledge and open-mindedness, Husserl's thirst for learning knew no bounds. His parents encouraged him to explore the realms of philosophy and art, shaping him into the polymathic figure he would later become. As the years passed, Husserl's intellectual journey led him to the forefront of philosophical thought. In his early work, he fearlessly delved into critiques of historicism and psychologism in logic, unveiling their flawed foundations through profound analyses of intentionality. With an unwavering dedication to truth and understanding, Husserl challenged the established norms and paved the way for a new school of thought, phenomenology. With his groundbreaking ideas taking shape, Husserl sought to construct a systematic foundational science, drawing upon the concept of phenomenological reduction. He boldly asserted that it is the transcendental consciousness that sets the limits of knowledge, reshaping phenomenology as a transcendental idealist philosophy. His profound insights reverberated through the corridors of academia, leaving an indelible mark on 20th century philosophy and beyond. Despite facing immense challenges during dark times, Husserl's intellectual spirit remained unbroken. As the shadows of the Nazi regime fell upon the land, his Jewish heritage became a barrier to his pursuit of knowledge. Expelled from the university and forced to resign from esteemed institutions, Husserl's determination did not waver. Even in the face of adversity, his dedication to unraveling the mysteries of consciousness remained unwavering. In the quiet solitude of Freiburg, Edmund Husserl continued to share his wisdom with those fortunate enough to listen. It was within those hallowed halls that he imparted his philosophies upon generations of eager learners, inspiring a profound shift in the perspective of the world. And though his physical form may have succumbed to illness and passed away in 1938, his legacy and contributions endure, cementing his status as an extraordinary thinker who forever shaped the course of philosophy. Edmund Husserl, a renowned philosopher, delved into the realms of logic and mathematics, offering profound insights into their nature and significance. According to Husserl, truth itself finds its ontological counterpart in being. Additionally, he posited that categories of meaning possess formal ontological categories as their correlates. Rather than dealing with sensible objects directly, logic and mathematics are concerned with the study of formal categories, the objects of investigation. Husserl introduced the concept of eidetic reduction, a process that enables us to apprehend the possibilities, impossibilities, necessities, and contingencies among concepts and formal categories. Through faculties like categorial intuition, categorial abstraction, and eidetic reduction, logical and mathematical knowledge is established. These frameworks form the foundation of our understanding in these disciplines. One of Husserl's criticisms of the logicians of his time was their neglect of the relation between subjective processes and the objective knowledge of pure logic. According to him, every subjective activity of consciousness requires an ideal correlate, and objective logic, as it is constituted by consciousness, necessitates a noetic correlate. This connection between subjectivity and objectivity is crucial in comprehending the nature of logic. Husserl proposed that logic can be divided into three strata, each progressively moving away from consciousness and psychology. The third stratum, known as the theory of manifolds, holds an ontological correlate. In the realm of formal ontology, mathematicians possess the freedom to assign multiple meanings to various symbols and explore the valid deductions in a general and indeterminate manner. This universal mathematics allows for the examination of apodictic connections between these indeterminate objects, as long as consistency is maintained. Husserl's perspective on logic and mathematics accounted for the objectivity witnessed in significant mathematical developments during his time. The exploration of n-dimensional manifolds, Hermann Grassmann's theory of extensions, William Rowan Hamilton's Hamiltonians, Sophus Lie's theory of transformation groups, and Cantor's set theory all find their foundation in Husserl's view. One of Husserl's students, Jacob Klein, continued this line of inquiry with the aim of desedimentizing mathematics and the mathematical sciences. Husserl's philosophy on logic and mathematics continues to resonate today, offering valuable insights into understanding the nature and application of these disciplines. Edmund Husserl, a renowned philosopher and mathematician, embarked on an ambitious journey to analyze the foundations of mathematics from a psychological perspective. After completing his PhD in mathematics, he delved into the study of the philosophy of arithmetic, seeking to advance the methods and techniques of esteemed mathematicians like Karl Weierstrass, Richard Dedekind, George Cantor, and Gottlob Freya. 
Drawing inspiration from Brentano's descriptive psychology, Husserl aimed to define the natural numbers in a way that aligned with contemporary mathematical developments. In his habilitation thesis, titled On the Concept of Number, and his book, Philosophy of Arithmetic, Husserl delved into the complexities of mathematical concepts. However, in the first volume of his Logical Investigations, he began to challenge the psychologistic viewpoint in logic and mathematics, signaling a departure from his earlier work. While some scholars speculate that Freya's critical review of Husserl's philosophy of arithmetic influenced his transition to modern Platonism, Husserl had already been independently exploring the ideas of Bernard Bolzano around 1890-91. Husserl further distinguished himself by highlighting the distinction between the content and the extension of a concept. He recognized that this differentiation between the subjective mental act and the object emerged independently in Brentano's school. Husserl's critique of Freya in the philosophy of arithmetic echoed his earlier observations, emphasizing the importance of separating the subjective content of a concept from its objective extension. This notion of separation also found resonance in Husserl's contemporaries, Leibniz, Bolzano, Lotzi, and Hume. Various sources suggest that Husserl's reservations about psychologism began to emerge as early as 1890, a year prior to the publication of his philosophy of arithmetic. He found himself questioning the validity of psychologism, with doubts that plagued him from the onset. While some attribute his shift in thinking to Freya's influence, Husserl himself did not mention Freya as a decisive factor. In fact, he mentioned Freya only twice in his logical investigations, questioning certain aspects of Freya's work. The exchange of letters between Freya and Husserl in 1891 reveals that the two philosophers independently explored the distinction between sense and reference before their correspondence. They both developed their theories of sense and reference separately, showcasing their intellectual acuity. Moreover, Husserl's development of the notion of noma, which differs from Freya's notion of sense, further demonstrates their independent exploration of these concepts. Husserl's conception of logic and mathematics diverged from Freya's belief that arithmetic could be derived from logic. For Husserl, mathematics and logic were related but distinct fields, with mathematics being the ontological correlate of logic. Therefore, he argued that neither field could be strictly reduced to the other. Edmund Husserl's exploration into the philosophy of arithmetic and his critique of psychologism left a lasting impact on the fields of mathematics, logic, and philosophy. His emphasis on separating subjective content from objective extension provides a valuable framework for understanding concepts in our daily lives. By discerning the distinction between our mental processes and the external objects they refer to, we can strive for greater clarity and precision in our thinking, leading to a deeper understanding of the world around us. Edmund Husserl, born in 1859 in Prosnitz, Austria, grew up in a Jewish family. His early education in Prostijov and Vienna laid the foundation for his intellectual development. At the University of Leipzig, he was captivated by philosophy lectures given by Wilhelm Wundt, a pioneer of modern psychology. This sparked his interest in the field, leading him to pursue further studies in mathematics at the Frederick William University of Berlin under Leopold Kronecker and Karl Weierstrass. It was in Berlin that Husserl found mentorship from Tomas Garriga Masaryk and attended Friedrich Paulsen's philosophy lectures. In 1883, Husserl obtained his PhD in mathematics at the University of Vienna. The influence of the New Testament during his twenties led him to request baptism into the Lutheran Church in 1886. Although religious practice did not play a significant role in his life, Husserl's mind remained open to the religious phenomenon. He saw his vocation and mission as being guided by God's will, seeking new ways to advance philosophy and science, according to Herbert Spiegelberg. While working as an assistant to Karl Weierstrass in Berlin, Husserl's longing to pursue philosophy intensified. When Weierstrass fell ill, Husserl returned to Vienna to focus on his philosophical pursuits. Attending Franz Brentano's lectures on philosophy and philosophical psychology, Husserl was introduced to the works of renowned philosophers such as Bernard Bolzano, Hermann Lotze, J. Stuart Mill, and David Hume. Inspired by Brentano, Husserl made the decision to dedicate his life to philosophy, with Brentano being recognized as one of his most significant influences, particularly in terms of intentionality. In 1887, Husserl married Malvine Steinschneider, and they would have three children. Their daughter Elizabeth married in 1922, while their son Gerhardt became a philosopher of law. Tragically, their son Wolfgang fell victim to the First World War. Throughout his life, Husserl remained committed to his philosophical pursuits, writing influential works such as Philosophy der Arithmetik, based on his 1887 work Duber den Begriff der Zoll. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.